So what I had in mind is to explore the Samsung DeX uh, software to see how closely it resembles to the uh, experience of using your PC. And that's why I got my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra um, and I wanted to explore that. And um, to be able to do that, I really wanted to get a proper wireless keyboard and a mouse. And surprisingly, a few days ago, or maybe a week ago, um, a company called Sinda, who is a prominent uh, computer-related product seller on Amazon, approached me asking whether I could review their wireless keyboard and mouse, which actually has uh, different lighting features as well. So while I do the unboxing, I will um, highlight their main features as well. So let's get on to the unboxing. So here it goes. All right, so this is the package, seven color backlit wireless keyboard and a nice logo, silver, bit of a weight and um, I, I would say the main features, obviously I'm gonna highlight the text on the above, but um, there's the uh, scissor switch ultra thin keyboard, seven colors actually it comes with. And I believe you can actually hook it up up to four different Bluetooth devices, which is really cool. And I think that's the switch uh, for the light, seven lights that you wanna change. So if we open up, here's the keyboard. Nice weight, I like that. You know, when, once you hold it up, it's, feels like you know a proper uh, nice uh, keyboard and very thin as well because it's quite long I don't think I'll be able to grasp to get the feel of the hole but it's pretty thin I mean this is the thickness of my finger so that's really nice now to the wrist there's the instruction do we need to have a look at that I mean I guess there will be some extra description you need to change colors and etc and lastly, <laughs> we got the, what we call the USB-C cable. Okay, so let's get on to the mouse. So here's the um, RGB backlit uh, wireless mouse from uh, Sinda, and um, that's the back and another logo. So if we were to open it up, what's inside? Nice, another, is it a USB-C? Yep, yeah. so we got another USB-C to charge it and um, I'm gonna highlight all the features as well. So that's how it looks. Um, bit light, but um, yeah, that's probably that's the special button, but um, we got the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, I don't know where you can see, let's zoom in. 2.4 gigahertz BT1, BT2, so you can actually change it to different uh, Bluetooth, and I would advise to use this uh, plugged in, but also it's Bluetooth as well and turning on, you've got all the lightings coming in as well. So that's all good to go, brilliant. All right, so to start with, we've got the keyboard here and this is where you plug in your USB-C cable to recharge your keyboard. And if we press it on, look at that. That is one beauty, isn't it? Uh, so um, I think that's the default uh, lighting feature. But if you go to the function button, and then press this lighting switch at the same time you can actually change the lightings uh, so at the moment it's changing but you could go for no lights which will let your battery last longer much longer white green purple uh, green purple sorry pink was it blue <laughs> and also if you can also change the brightness of it as well by pressing the um, up and down with the uh, function button. So if you do function and then down, up, down, up. Okay, that's quite cool. I like that. It looks more, you know, like up to speed, up to date, really fashionable uh, keyboard. Also, this mouse is actually, if you turn it on, Similar, so what you need to do is just press that button there to change the lighting feature. I guess this is the default lighting, but you can always go for the red, like some sort of like a pulse, or very slow. That's like a rainbow, kind of party-ish. And yeah, that's just like fading away, changing colors, and light comes out on, light comes out on. <laughs> um, yeah, there are quite a lot of different features. I like this one actually, that's quite cool. So yeah, um, that's all ready to go. So let's actually sync it up with my Samsung phone. So here it goes. So to pair it up, 
I believe you need to press the function and also number one. So that's, this is going to be the first uh, device that I'm going to connect as a Bluetooth device. And then I need to press it for at least three seconds. So it's blinking now. So hopefully it will be showing up on my uh, phone. So I assume it's this one. It looks like a keyboard. Oh, here it is, Bluetooth keyboard. So yes, press it. So that's paired with the keyboard, brilliant. It's all good to go. Now let's try the um, mouse, shall we? I believe this is pretty straightforward. So if you see here, there's 2.4 blinking. If I were to click on that for a while, you can see that BT1 is flashing on the green light on there. So let's see if this is popping up on my phone. Ah, here it is. So it's a BT 5.0 mouse. So let's pair that as well. So we've got the Bluetooth mouse and also the keyboard connected as well. So let's try to turn off and on to see whether it gets connected or not. So let's turn it off. Okay, they're both off. But if I were to turn it on again, all I need to do is just press that and on again. I also need to yeah, as soon as I turn it on, the Bluetooth mouth is connected as well. And obviously, if you want to connect it to your keyboard, all you need to do is that function button again. Um, and then you need to press the one button. So that's all connected and it's all good to go. Right, so to be able to run a Samsung DeX, I guess you need a decent sized monitor and also the Samsung DeX cable that you can buy online. So I actually got one here. So let's get it connected. And it should pop in any moment. Voila! So we got the Samsung Dex popped up and all the keyboard and the mouse is connected. You can see the mouse cursor is really good. The response is level is really good. I'm very happy with that. No delay whatsoever without actually connecting it to uh, the USB, which if you want as a more extra strength of connection, you can do that. Uh, magnetically connected by the way but I don't think I need that because that's pretty good also uh, let's see how good the typing is so let's search on the notes section shall we so we've got keep notes so let's zoom in to show you some of the response level of the typing okay so um, okay I am uh, LJP Tech. Uh, so yeah, I mean the response level is really good. No delay whatsoever. As you can see, that's really good. Um, so you can do hashtag as well, which is quite clever. I didn't know you had that sort of function, but as you can see, well, I have to admit there are very small delays, but this is because I'm typing really quickly. But um, that's pretty good. I mean, Bluetooth 5.1, isn't it? Or 5.0 uh, connection. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's very good. I mean, this is connected to your mobile phone to start with, actually. So that's how uh, good this thing is. I mean, look at that. That's aesthetically really pleasing as well. This flashing LED lights um, of a mouse and it also uh, the keyboard as well. So anyway, so that's a quick demonstration of Sina. So let me actually explore more on the Samsung DeX side. But if you have any question regards to this keyboard and a mouse, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.